Well, the United States facing a shortage of truck drivers, and that could lead to higher prices and longer wait times for consumers. Yeah, Jessica Smith from our uh, U.S. Uh, joining us now live, rather, from Washington, D.C., and Jessica Representative Trey Hollingsworth, I understand, uh, from Indiana, has a bill that he hopes will solve the problem, right? Right, Phil, and you may think a truck driver shortage just impacts the people in the industry, but this is actually a problem that reaches much of the economy and almost every consumer. America does not have enough truck drivers, and that's a problem for consumers. If you got it, a truck brought it. Sean McNally with the American Trucking Associations says trucks move 70% of all freight in the U.S., and without drivers to move that freight, prices and wait times are increasing for consumers. Companies are having difficulty finding trucking companies to move their goods because trucking companies are having difficulty finding drivers. According to the ATA, there are 51,000 trucking jobs open right now. McNally says it's tough to find drivers who have the necessary skills and safety record, and the lifestyle is not for everyone. Plus, a truck driver must be 21 years old to drive across state lines. We can allow a 19-year-old to drive nine hours up to Gary, Indiana, and back to Jeffersonville, where I live, but they can't drive the 10 minutes over to Louisville. Indiana Congressman Trey Hollingsworth has introduced a bill that would allow 18 to 20-year-olds to drive across state lines after completing an apprenticeship program to make sure the young driver is ready. I think this really enables truck companies across the district, across the state, across the country to get back to being able to deliver their products in a timely fashion with the workforce that they need. We asked Hollingsworth if allowing 18 year olds to drive across the country raises any safety concerns. It doesn't do anything to reduce the safety requirements. I'm just saying let's afford them the ability to cross state lines after they go through a rigorous safety program. The ATA says the industry needs to add 90,000 drivers every year for the next decade. Hollingsworth said he is still continuing to gather more support among lawmakers for this bill. Of course, we'll keep you updated on how it progresses through the House. We did reach out to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. They referred us to another agency to see if they had an opinion on this legislation, but no one got back to us. Live in Washington, I'm Jessica Smith, 24-Hour News 8. Yeah, hey Jess, before we let you go, a lot of talk surrounding self-driving cars and trucks. Uh, how could they play into this shortage? I asked the ATA about that, and they said they're not concerned about that at the moment. They said technology should not scare people away. They pointed to commercial planes. They said those have largely been automated for quite some time, but there's still a pilot in the cockpit. They said they expect that to be the same as self-driving cars and trucks develop. The tech industry may see things a little differently, but right now, at least, the trucking industry is not concerned about that. They said drivers shouldn't be concerned about that either. All right, Jessica Smith, live for us tonight. Jess, thank you.